All right, I give everybody a few minutes here to find me. I uh, screwed up as always. <clears throat> I'll just wait for people to show up. Yawn. You guys finding me yet? <clears throat> Somebody did. <laughs> Burton Chaos. What's up, guys? How you doing? Gotta wait for uh, Bull and Steve to get back in here. I uh, I don't know what happens, man. Every time I schedule one and then I go to press it, it switches cameras on me. So, sorry about that. I am a big, giant idiot. So, let's get started with the song here. Got lots to go over tonight. Hope you guys are ready to do some chatting. Sweet. How should we play this tonight? Country, rock and roll. Hey, <laughs> feeding your face, Burton. Okay, let's do it like this. Captain Crappy likes his toys. Captain Crappy loves his toys. Star Wars superhero G.I. Joe toys. Captain Crappy loves his toys. Captain Crappy loves his toys. Sing it at home. Two, three, four. Captain Krabby likes his toys. Captain Krabby loves his toys. Star Wars superhero G.I. Joe toys. Captain Krabby loves his toys. Captain Krabby loves his toys. Captain Krabby loves his toys. Ow! All right. There we go. We got that out of the way. So first things first, kids. Let's see. Let's check in with everybody. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> All right. Boy, how you doing? I'm glad you found me again. I, I keep screwing up, man. My, every time I uh, schedule one and then I press the go live button, my camera switches to one that's not working right now. I don't know why it does that. So <laughs> fever blister is at the snack. I love it. Okay. So. First order of business is every once in a great while, I like to go out and buy a toy for me. This came in the mail today. Ooh. Okay, what do we got here? I've already cut the tape to uh, make this easy. And if you have watched my Star Wars collection video, you know I like my pilots. I got a new pilot. This is like the, I don't, I don't, I don't know this guy's name. I forgot. Uh, but he's like the nine num, uh, ten num uh, species. But he's got a little white goatee. But I, I like his helmet because you know they have to make special helmets for aliens with special heads. And I'm an alien with a special head, so <clears throat> I imagine they'd have to make me a special helmet. So I got myself a toy. Yay! All right, let's get into news here. Ooh, I am on the laptop. Oh, super Trump. Hey, what's up? Hey, quick shout out to Super Trump. Hey, Super Trump, I don't have a lot of people on tonight, but uh, if you guys want to laugh, go check out Super Trump. Um, I checked out one of his things today. It's this hilarious. It's kind of like a comic book, but it's got uh, kind of like sound effects and um, and voice work. And so it's kind of like an animated comic book, almost funny as hell. Uh, Jedi Business, Brian Bird, uh, checking in. What's up, buddy? Jedi Business. Okay, we're going to talk about some Jedi stuff pretty soon here, okay? But uh, let's get into the news, all right? Action figure news. Vintage collection, Star Wars collectors, uh, the December wave. Uh, Beskar Mandalorian, Moff Gideon, the Armorer, uh, Rogue One, Darth Vader. They cha they're changing everything to Disney movies, so they're doing that Darth Vader as a Rogue One. Uh, it's a licensing thing, I guess. Uh, and the Captain Rex. The Captain Rex will not have a removable helmet. So there you go for vintage collection news for December. I think that wave comes out on December 6th. So start checking your Walmart. Mar uh, start checking your Walmarts. I'll start checking them. Uh, and the Cricket Democrat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's about Donald. <laughs> All right. I, I try not to, I like to talk. I like to mess around with politics on my friends' channels, which are super, uh, super Trump 
and uh, Geek Craft Studios. You, you, I'm telling you, you guys want to laugh and just kind of relax and enjoy the day. They're funny. They're funny. Very funny. All right, the re retro collection uh, spring wave. Uh, for now, the, now these are the ones that everybody was fighting about when they first came out. The retro collections, um, retro collection, but they are actually doing a whole wave of Mandalorian figures. So, you know, the, the figures have never been made before, so they're just going to try and make them look simple, I guess. So, uh, in that wave, you've got <clears throat> Mandalorian, you got Moff Gideon, Grief Karga, uh, with the red outfit and the brown cape, uh, Cara Dune. Queel, who is no longer with us, the child, and IG-11. So all those figures are coming out in a retro collection wave. Those will be out in spring. Um, and then uh, every time they release one of those waves, they release a game, and you can get an extra figure. This one's a little bizarre. They're going to do a Mandalorian Monopoly, um, and that's going to come with a, a Remnant Stormtrooper, which would just be a repaint of the original retro collection Stormtrooper. But I believe the uh, price point on that's going to be like $80 or something. So you might want to pick that one up on Evil Bay. I'm not sure. Um, Vintage Collection Wave 2 of 21. This will be out in the spring. Um, you're going to have uh, the Return of the Jedi uh, carded Boba Fett. That's with the blue sky in the background. Now there's going to be two of those. There's going to be one. One of them shipped, I think, with an orange... Uh, orange capsule and background and one with a yellow background. Um, you'll, there'll be a snaggle tooth. I forgot the name of that guy, but it'll be snaggle tooth again, but he's in the robe. Um, grief Karga in the new outfit, the best bin Leia and the child with his hover pram. And I believe that's going to be the, uh, the end of the se season one hover pram. Uh, vintage collection wave three, July, um, possibly Ashoka Tano, which, if you watch Mandalorian this week, it'll probably be a new one. Ahsoka Tano got uh, Echo Clone Trooper. His helmet will come off. Uh, Darth Maul from the Clone Wars. And Offworld Jawa Elder, which would be the same one. It comes with the Razor Crest, except it's not going to have the egg and the little knives in it and all that kind of stuff. So that's my action figure news. It's all Star Wars still. So, um, all right. Uh, what do we got here? Marvel Comics. This is the uh, comic book Bloodbath Part 2. Okay, DC just got a big bloodbath. Now Marvel, sadly, I'm higher risk, so I ain't leaving my house. Okay. Uh, Yo, you guys are just kind of chatting through. You want Cyborg Spidey? Kind of missing all this stuff. You have Rogue ordered. Man, I should sneak one in. Awesome. Um, all right, guys. So uh, Marvel Comics slashing a ton of... Um, titles which i looked at these titles and th there wasn't much here for me anyway um so uh the new warriors crash and burn before it even got off the ground and that's the one with snowflake and safe space the new uh the new heroes that were created by the sgws at uh sjws at marvel that's snowflake safe space and um there's an internet guy. His whole life is on the internet or something. Anyway, so the New Warriors, obviously, crash and burn. Um, Dark Agnes, I've never even heard of that one. I don't know anybody who's reading Dark Agnes. Morbius is gone. Iron Heart's gone. Amazing Spider-Man Annual's gone. Amazing Spider-Man Daily Bugle's gone. Ghost Rider is gone. That one kind of bummed me out, but whatever. Um, Doctor Strange is gone. Silver Surfer's gone. Star Wars Rise of Skywalker, the movie adaption. Uh, the movie adaption gone but you know we all knew that was coming uh jane foster gone x-men donna x never even heard of that one uh web of spider-man odd uh, because spider-man's the big cash cow at marvel uh silk gone uh america chavez is gone i believe there's all the people okay yeah america chavez actually probably would have made it um if all those people on Twitter bitching about representation in comic books were actually reading them and not just bitching about them, but you know, that's just me. This is the way. Thanks for a Star Wars update for life. <laughs> all right. Um, I do have a new email address. So for, for anybody who wins a prize, um, don't use my old email address anymore. I'm getting rid of that one. It's all uh, lowercase letters, all one word, Captain Crappy's Toys at gmail.com. 
Uh, just letting you know, because, you know, all 10 of you will probably keep winning and winning and winning all year round until we get some more subscribers. Um, movie news. Doctor Strange begins filming in London. That was a couple of days ago. Uh, if you don't know, Sam Raimi's directing Doctor, Doctor Strange. Kind of scares me a little bit because of that last Spider-Man movie he did with the dance routine. Hoping we don't get that again. Um, so uh, Benedict Cumberbatch is done filming his part for Spider-Man 3. Still don't got a title on that. but uh, So he's over in London now. Uh, also, um, Elizabeth Olsen is done doing all her re reshoots and everything for Vision Scarlet Witch. So she is now over in London. Also, she is going to be the second lead in the new Doctor Strange movie, Doctor Strange in the multi Multiverse of Madness. Um, what else we got here? Um, I don't know if you guys ever listen to Mikey Sutton. Uh, he's a guy on the internet, gets a lot of, uh, scoops on stuff before it actually happens. Um, he's saying that Marvel is in talks with Charlie Cox for a, uh, for him to reprise his role as Daredevil. Um, I don't know how you guys feel. I thought Charlie Cox was one of the best daredevils well i mean there's only two but he was awesome as daredevil he's great so they're tra they're talking to him the uh movie the the rights reverted from netflix back to marvel because they stopped making the daredevil show so uh he is now open to negotiations um that's almost it in news um i don't know any, any of you kevin smith fans out there uh jay and silent bob secret stash the comic shop in new jersey is uh closing sad right don't worry it's opening right back up um they're gonna close at the end of december i believe and they're moving basically one block down the street and i saw a walkthrough of the new building it's huge we're gonna go there it's a mecca for you know nerds pretty much so what else we got here they should have named dr strange one who breaks the multiverse right exactly that's actually would have been a great name for it Hopefully Spider 3 for Derek. Yeah, they actually, that's what they're talking about. Um, having him just kind of come in and do a little thing, maybe play Peter Parker's lawyer um, in Spider-Man 3 and then branch out from there. I'm not sure. Um, not terrible one with Thor. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so that's it for the news. <coughs> um. I've been talking a lot about comic books lately, and I will be the first to admit that I have not been reading them, so I am going to practice what I preach. Also, I am an artist, and in the winter is when I usually do paintings. I'm thinking of put together um, a bunch of paintings and doing a print book to reward you know, members of the channel, people who uh, donate on Patreon, all that kind of stuff. So I'm looking at a lot of comic books. So I am still in the middle of reading this Catwoman, number one. Uh, like I said, it's a, it's decent. It's a setup book. So, um, but I'm going back to basics. I'm going back to finishing this Watchmen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going back to V for Vendetta because every five years, 1984 and this movie get more and more relevant. I don't want to talk about politics, but you read this. This is exactly where we're at today. Pretty much almost close anyway. Um, I got this Harley Quinn book I'm looking at. The thing about this book is there's about a hundred different um, artists in it, and it's a lot of like two page stories. So it's uh, it's good for somebody with ADD, which is kind of me. Um, I spent all day reading this. Actually, this is a great one. This Darth Vader series that came out. Uh, this is the introdu uh, introduction of Doctor Afra, who I think is an awesome character. What uh, is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. The old uh, Hulk one. That's right. I forgot all about that one. That Thor. Oh, that Thor was so horrible. And uh, I just ordered House of M, the whole the whole book. So I'm going to get back into House of M. And I'm reading Infinity War, the real Infinity War. Um, I forgot how great these books are, man. I haven't read them in so long. It's like I never read them before. Uh, what else we got here? Don't forget, we got uh, official Captain Crappy merchandise. Yeah, I'm hawking T-shirts. And, uh, you know, if you don't like the shirt, you can use it for what's on the front. So all I got to do is uh, either win a prize 
or donate ten dollars to my Patreon. So it's uh, Patreon slash Captain Crappy Toy Reviews and uh, Pop Talk. So all that money that goes on to Patreon goes straight into buying more stuff to give to you. Got some little stickers. I'll probably send those out with some prizes. I don't know. I just got these. So what else we got here? All right, let's do the uh, Christmas Kitty update. You guys want to do that? There's more stuff in there. Okay, so we're going to do this Christmas Kitty giveaway, okay? Every time you comment on a video in the comments, um, one per video, you get an entry into the Christmas Kitty box, which is filling up. Um, if you could help the channel... Tell your friends about it. I am giving away a ton of stuff. So tell your friends to subscribe, comment on the videos. They get a chance to win this stuff just like you guys do, okay? <clears throat> of course, you know, you guys get special treatment because you've been here this whole time for me, and I appreciate that. Yeah, let's see. Okay, stickers do roll. You're right, Bull. Okay, so we've got a Ghostbusters Proton Pack backpack. Lovely GameStop version try to mix it up and get you guys a little of this a little of that so uh along with that along those lines we have the venom baseball cap that's venom uh, licking a spider-man lollipop beautiful cap for all isn't it cool the backpack it's awesome right uh where are the i don't know where the socks are they're missing right now so we have this um, two-pack Marvel Legends. It's Ghost and um, Luis. And Luis might be the best figure of all the Marvel Legends because he was certainly the funniest in all the movies. Oh, we have a Darth Revan GameStop exclusive pop. Apparently, this guy's hard to, hard to come by. I don't know if you collect pops, but I'm sure you know somebody who does. I'm sure I'll see all this stuff for sale. I didn't Neo attack me on somebody's table. So, or maybe not. I hope you keep it. I mean, you can do whatever you want with it. Cheers. We have the uh, vintage collection carbonized remnant stormtrooper with his shiny dirt marks. That's a weird one. We have the carbonized vintage collection death trooper. That's a good one. Okay, we got. Star Wars Black Series, Endor Han Solo. We've got GameStop exclusive gaming greats, Electro Staff Purge Trooper. I think this has got the nicest color packaging I've seen. This beautiful, beautiful magenta and black. I'm going to have to go back and read through all these. I'm missing everything everybody's saying. It's like you guys are just having your own damn conversation in there. Um, we have this DC Comics superheroes, uh, Mr. Freeze figure. I know everybody had that one when they were a kid and they broke his little cables. We have uh, Marvel Legends series two pack. Uh, what is this Havoc? Yeah, Havoc and Polaris. Polaris was Magneto's daughter, right? And then Havoc was uh, Cyclops's little brother. Big brother, little brother, depending on what timeline you're looking at. We got the G.I. Joe Classified Series, Profit Director Destro. Right? Because if you're going to be a Profit Director, why not wear a leopard print? Every man needs a cape. We have the Star Wars Black Series. Uh, what do they call it? Oh, yeah. Galaxy's Edge Trading Outpost Mountain Trooper. Very desirable action figure there. We have Admiral Jack Barr from Return of the Jedi. We have Darth Nihilus, Gaming Greats. Oof, man, this 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 uh, prize package is really growing here, guys. We got till December fourteenth, so uh, you know, watch my videos. I'll try and I'll try and make as many as I can. I'll give you guys more entries. We have from the Mandalorian, the armorer. Awesome, right? Okay, we have Black Series Phase 1 Clone Trooper. We have Jim Lee Art uh, X-Men 90 style socks, dress socks for, you know, when you have to go to job interviews and stuff. Beautiful socks. We have 6-inch Classified Series Snake Eyes. Okay, we have the G.I. Joe Retro. 
um, from the first six series, we have Storm Shadow, who comes with about 20 different little uh, weapons and stuff, including teeny tiny tiny stars that are very easy to lose. And we have Snake Eyes. So we got the brothers here, Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. Oh, dude, I never put music on. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm a horrible host. Let's find my music. There it is. Okay. All right. So we got the uh, Mandalorian limited edition box, which has, ah, well, it has a bar of Beskar in it, and then it has the um, Empire medal that the client was wearing, and it has the uh, Mandalorian um, necklace that he puts on the child, whose name is <clears throat> Grogu. Anyway, um, and last but not least, we have this lovely Mandalorian Black Series 6-inch, uh, the first one. So we got that in there. What do you guys think of all that stuff, huh? It is Eye of the Tiger. You're right. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. <laughs> GameStop exclusive. I, I am a GameStop exclusive? Uh, God, if they made an action figure of me. Almost nobody would get it. All right. So we are officially at 180 subscriptions. Um, I guess that sort of thing's important. So when we get to 225 subscriptions, this is what we're giving away. This big, giant, beautiful, real deal shield. Would have killed for that when you're a kid, right? Well, now you can have it, too, for yourself as an adult. Go out in your backyard and play Captain America. That'll be awesome. All right. What else we got here? I think that's it. That's it. Oh, I did find myself two other toys, too. I was at Kid Force Collectibles the other day, and I got myself an IG-88. Now, this is the Saga series. Yeah, Saga series, so the bubble on the bottom's a little different, but I don't have any carded IG-88, so I got this guy. Placeholder. And then I got the uh, new Wicket uh, vintage collection. I'm not a big Ewok guy, but I am kind of a completist when it comes to um, the blacks or not the black, the vintage collection. So, so I was looking to see if that was punched or not. <sighs> Sweet. Mm -hmm. Do I have any micronauts? No, you know what, Dr. Frankenstein? Oh, but, hi, by the way, I didn't even see you were here. Um, when I was a kid, my uncle, this was right before Star Wars hit, my uncle hit me to um, micronauts, gave me a couple micronauts action figures. And then he gave me this like construction set to build little bubble houses for the Micronauts. They were like white plastic things with little things that connected them. And I also got uh, later down, right, later on down the line, I got this. Um, it's kind of like a, a jet plane, but it was a big Hornet with like see-through wings. So I did have some Micronauts. I don't have any now. Was the Ewoks when you were a kid, ball? Really? Okay, that's cool. I did like the show, I guess, for a while when I was a kid. I mean, when you're a kid, Ewoks are awesome. When you're a grown-up, you know, sweaty Star Wars nerd, all of a sudden Ewoks aren't cool enough anymore. So, I don't know, whatever. I thought it was cool seeing the Ewoks in, uh, uh, what was it, Rise of Skywalker. I thought that was a nice little throwback, but that's just me. Um, all right, guys, we're going to talk about The Mandalorian. No real spoilers, okay? I just want to talk about it for a second. Um, awesome, right? like the first 30 seconds. Um, but as I watched it, I realized that that whole episode is about setting up a new Star Wars TV show, and it is for sure going to be Ahsoka looking to find um, Ezra Bridger. I mean, she mentions certain people, trying to keep the spoilers away here. Yeah, a little less so, but still kind of digging. Yeah, see? Yeah, I get it. I mean, I totally get it. They're cute. They're great for kids. If I was going to turn on a young kid to Star Wars, I'd show them Ewoks first. Um, but yeah, so, uh, but but Rosaria Dawson is Ahsoka Tano. I don't care what anybody says, man. I think she did a great job. And I went back and watched it like three or four more times. A little gratuitous on the lightsaber sparking, but you know, whatever. But anyway... They're going to set up a whole Mandalorian universe because Disney understands that this is the way to do Star Wars. They're, all those movies they made, they just caught a ton of slack for. You either like them or you hate them. I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to say anything about it either way. But uh, the Mandalorian is where they should be concentrating all their uh, 
eggs. That should be their basket. So they're going to build off a bunch of shows. I know the Kenobi show is getting ready to start filming. Uh, you're an adult and you love Ewok still. That's great. That means you still have a child, you know, a kid's heart. And that's good. You should always stay young at heart, right? Mm, can, oh, yeah. I can't wait for that. Yeah, me neither. Uh, it gets better and better. Oh, doesn't it? It just every episode keeps getting better and better, man. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, overtime in the hockey game. Gee, sorry to interrupt your hockey, Matt. Oh, well, there's a piece of news for you, Matt, specifically. You're a big Kevin Smith guy. Um, they are closing Jay and uh, uh, Jay and Silent Bob Secret Stash, and they're moving it a block down the street, and it's going to be huge. So, if anyone's looking for any nerd trips. I uh, do believe they're still open. So before they close everything down in New Jersey, you might want to go check it out. Oh, you did hear it. Good. Okay. I figured you would keep track of that because you're in, uh, you're in world of Kevin Smith too, right? On that website, on that page on Facebook. I am. So anyway, Oh, is it infinite? Go ahead. Oh, there's a bunch of people in here. I haven't seen yet. Glad to see a show. Yeah. Right. How awesome was it to see her live, man? It was like, all the real fans that 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 love the Clone Wars and everything, it was it was a it was a nice payoff for us. You know, I'd much rather see Ahsoka on TV than Palpatine on the big screen. Like I said, I'm not dogging the new movies because I know everybody's already done enough of that. Um, they were they were what they were, you know. But I would much rather see them universe build from the Mandalorian because I'm way more interested in three or four or five, six years after Return of the Jedi than I am 30 years after Return of the Jedi because they can't recapture that magic. But I'll tell you what, the Mandalorian is bringing me back to that magic of my childhood. So one day you'll make the run to New Jersey. You know what? I got we we got to start doing more runs while we can. So there's a, there's a comic or there's a toy shop down in Cincinnati I want to go check out. Um once uh, the new uh, secret stash opens up, I'd like to run up to New Jersey and check that out. So um, I don't know what they're doing in the country, man. It's, it's, everything's just going downhill. So enjoy as much as you can for as long as you can. Go to every shop you can go to, even if it's just a browse. Just you know, go go to go to your local toy shop and tell them Cappy, Captain Crappy sent you, and they're going to be like, "Huh? Who? What?" So I don't know. Just tell them anyway. Maybe they'll give me stuff. I don't know. Uh, what else we got going on here? Absolutely. Since he has some great stores, so Dayton, Dayton, really? You're tired of what? Everything? Yeah. Ahsoka show and a Bo-Katan show. Really? I mean, it could be possible. I did. I haven't heard anything about the Bo-Katan show specifically, but they did get Katie Sack off. And I find it hard to believe that they would get Katie Sackoff and um, I was going to call her Claire Temple, uh, Rosario Dawson. I, I find it hard to believe that they would bring in people of that magnitude for roles of that magnitude and not go further with them and just put them on an episode or two of The Mandalorian. There's no way. I mean, Disney is bleeding money right now and, and starting more of those series, Star Wars series, will make them cash 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 and and uh the mandalorian episodes are getting cheaper and cheaper to produce now they got that pro the proprietary um technology the way they film it now they're actually using that in movies um did i watch geekcraft earlier hey jets mess 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 you're from geekcraft yeah i did actually hilarious i love when uh guys if you get a chance to go to geekcraft studios go there and check out he he, he rips on protesters and it's just funny Funny, funny, funny. I don't care what your political leanings are, but I like to laugh. And Geekcraft Studios makes me laugh constantly. I mean, the, the guy is so the guy who does it is smart as hell, and he's invented some stuff that you can do on YouTube that nobody else has ever done before. He, you can actually play a video game. You can drop bombs on protesters, and you can drop salt on them. It's it's awesome. Uh, she came first, and she's very nice. Oh, you met Katie Sackoff? She's nice, but very okay. So she's so she's tough. Like, well, I mean, you know, Starbuck, they, they got her to play that role for a reason. They got her to play Bo Katan for a reason because 
a lot of people find roles that they don't really have to act in. That's just kind of who they are. Like, uh, you know, like Adam Sandler is always going to play Adam Sandler in a movie. You know, I mean, I've seen him do serious stuff, but they're, all, they're always going to go back to goofy stuff. Some people are one trick ponies and it's not really a bad thing, man. I mean, people are always bitching about having, you know, strong women in, in sci-fi and Katie Sackoff is a perfect example of that. I don't know why people don't support her more. She's talented. And she was on an episode of Big Bang Theory, which, you know, whatever. Um, who's lost in space? No, but you know who does, Dr. Frankenstein? Um, Buddy Harvey's got a lot of the old original, original uh, lost in space robots. Uh, I think I'm, I do a video with his collection and, and we show them like pretty quick, but they're in there. She was great in Longmire. I don't know anything about Longmire. Is that Steve? I, it, what kind of show is it, dude? Uh, what else we got here? Yes, I watch Geekcraft now. Isn't he the best, though? Jets, mess, mess, mess. I like that's a great name. Uh, yeah, if you get a chance, go check out Geekcraft Studios. Watch some of his recorded stuff. But if you can catch him live, that's the best thing to do because his chats are absolutely hilarious. And you'll probably learn something, too. Who knows? Um, also, don't forget, go check out Super Trump because his stuff's funny, too, man. I love funny. Funny is funny is funny. I don't care which side of the aisle it's on. Funny is funny. It's a sheriff show. Five seasons. Wow, really? I'll have to check it out, man. Still watching on Hulu. I don't have Hulu. I think I was supposed to have it for free with my phone, but I never watched it. So Montana Sheriff. I could see her doing that for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Montana is a special place. Uh I don't know. What else, guys, we want to talk about? I think I uh, covered everything I needed to cover tonight. You know, it wouldn't be a show if I didn't give something away, right? So let's do a quick review. I forgot I had this laying around. We're going to review GameStop, Gaming Greats, Jedi Knight, Revan. Ooh, look at that pretty purple packaging. Excellent artwork. Purple lightsaber. This is when he was a good guy, so he's not wearing black. Like that. Let's see. I'm gonna read. Yes, you met her. Talked to her at the Bay Area Comic Con two years ago. After her event, she was kind of a bully in high school. Oh, you can see a nice little Starbucks was in her. Okay. That yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Hulk and Brent. It's a great action figure, right? Uh, so we got the Darth Revan here. I'll read the back real quick. Uh, the Journey from Sith to Jedi. Is complete in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes as redeemed Jedi Knight Revan wields his purple lightsaber while cloaked in white Jedi robes. Purple lightsaber, that means he uses the same Jedi form as Mace Windu, right? It's a Jedi form. I don't there's like seven forms. I don't know them all, but I'm sure somebody here does. Oh, you like him as a Sith? You don't like him as a Jedi? I mean, he's kind of badass, and you know, purple is my color. I love love purple. You want it, please? <laughs> Man, okay. um, let's see. To this, to win this one, when this video is done processing, which it'll probably take all the way till tomorrow. Okay, so we'll give it till like nine o'clock tomorrow night. Comment on this video, uh, something funny or whatever. You always play good guys. When you played him, you played him good. Okay. Um, so you'll trade me a Marvel banner. For the figure, oh, you are trying to bribe me, Matt Kane. Shame, shame, shame. You should just give me that Marvel banner. We're gonna build a new uh background for the Captain Crappy show here eventually. And uh, Matt Kane has graciously uh donated some uh hard to find Marvel banners that he uh swiped from some job he had or something. I don't know, something, something dishonest. Anyway, I'm gonna profit off that so. So anyway, guys, tomorrow when this video posts, leave a comment about why you should get this Jedi Revan figure. And 9 o'clock tomorrow, I'll, um, I'll fire up the computer here. We'll go live and just do a quick drawing, and that's it. Just, you know, because I already gave you all the news. Unless I find some good news. Um, or if you guys just want to talk, you did not sweat, but you printed them. Yeah, right. But uh, did you print them with the express written permission of Marvel Comics, Inc.? Uh, I should get a green seat. You know what? I do have, I, I bought the green stuff to put behind me. 
Um, I have to figure out how to do it on iMovie, and I know I can. Like, I kind of watched it once, and I got the gist of it, but, dude, I'm too old to learn this stuff quickly, so it's going to take a while. Uh, Did I do the drawing for King? Um, You know what? I didn't do a drawing for King. Uh, Somebody left a really funny comment on the video, and uh, it actually made me laugh out loud during the day today, so I gave it to him. It was... I can't remember what it was, but uh, you'll probably find it here somewhere. Um, I know I said I was going to do a drawing for that. I'm sorry. Uh, You know, sometimes I lie. Sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh, the new email is uh, Captain Crappy's toys at gmail.com. It's all lowercase. Uh, You could thank my beautiful wife for uh, helping me out with that. She kind of handed it to me right after show the other day because, you know, I I'm too lazy. I would have never done it. Uh, my channel, let's see, where's that video, where's that video, da, 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 da. oh no, I took off my music, it was Thriller, uh, who did I give it to, uh, okay, so if he's a time traveler, then is this figure older or newer than the Secret Wars one I got as a kid? I thought that was funny, man, because I had that one. The Secret Wars Kang figure came with the horrible shield with the lenticular picture in it. I don't know why. Everybody got a shield, and then Captain America didn't even have his regular shield. He got another one of those weird, goofy orange shields. So I agree. You like my – oh, you do like my background? Okay, cool. I mean, I don't know. You have one, so no – okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. You do have one. Okay. I like it. My background's perfect. The barge, <laughs> it makes you want to open yours. You know what? Wait, who said that? Infinite. Good Aiken, Brent. Okay, Brent, open it, man. Just open it, dude. Because it's going to it'll retain its value. Don't sweat it. But what good is it doing you in a box, man? I understand keeping some figures on their package like I like to do here and stuff like that. But as far as ships and cool stuff goes, open it, man. Just open it. Did you buy it to make money off it, or did you buy it to enjoy it? Enjoy it, man. When you open this up and you start playing with it, you, you're going to forget how old you are. You're going to forget about your job, and you forget about all this stuff that goes on in your life that, that makes you miserable or whatever, and you're just going to have fun putting figures in there and playing around with it. It's awesome. Java's bed slides back and forth. It's super cool. Open it, open it, open it, open it, open it. You did once. You just don't have the room right now. Okay, to enjoy it. Okay. All right. Well, space is the issue, then I get that. I accidentally have a weird big room in my house, so it turned into my toy room. So it's also my dining room. So when the family comes over, they're going to have to eat in my Star Wars toy room. (laughs) Mm, Robots are your primary display. Robots. You like robots? I love robots. I have a pretty cool, um, I have a uh, pretty cool little uh, Astro Mech collection, which is like my favorite thing. So, all right, let me get back to uh, music here. Found a good one. Eight bit Queen. Okay, there we go. All right, we'll go back to this one. All right, Bohemian Rhapsody. That's good. Robots are from, I found a Star Wars Snaggletooth in the garbage. Sold on eBay for $225. Oh, you, Dr. Frankenstream. So you found uh, you found a blue Snaggletooth in the garbage? That's insane. Um, I know somebody who would have bought that off you for about that much. I don't understand why they don't do more Black Series Astro Max because I had that uh, before I sold my Black Series uh, collection. I had two, um, three packs, I think, of different Astro Mech droids. There were some, there were some R2 units in there, R5 units. Um, I thought they were cool. I got an R5 Black Series from that that uh, package at my shop on one of my shelves. So, yeah, I wish they would do more Astro Mechs. I wish they'd do more droids, period, in the Black Series collection. You know, we get so many bum droids. I did like the um, the Dr. Afra droids, Triple uh, Zero and BT-1. Those were cool. Yeah, Blue Snagglesuit, that's awesome. But, yeah, yeah, I wish, uh, I wish they'd do more droids, too. But, uh, you know, I get what I can when I can. So, uh, you know, but otherwise... 
I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Uh, if you could tell somebody about the show, tell them about the Christmas giveaway, get me some more people over here. I'd appreciate it. I know it cuts down on how many times the same five people get to keep winning toys off of me, which I don't mind at all. But I'm shooting for something here. I got, I got, I got, I got big plans for Captain Crappy. Hopefully, maybe, who knows? Um, other than that, uh, you know, I'll keep the chat open as long as you guys want to chat. I'll probably keep chatting too. Um, but my mouth's getting a little dry and I don't like to drink on screen if I don't have to. Um, I do appreciate all you guys for showing up, man. That's awesome. Nice, good crowd tonight. Lots of great comments. That's, that's super cool. I love all these people right there. Now, if all these people right there do all this stuff right there and then tell their friends to do this stuff right there, we'll be a big, huge community, and we're going to have big parties and stuff. Once all this stuff is over, we're throwing Captain Crappy parties, man. We'll all get blasted. I mean, I don't drink, but I'll, I'll get goofy on Pepsi. I don't even care, man. Cheers. You saw Darth Vader carry case. Oh, no kidding. You found a, a Vader carrying case with a snaggle tooth in it. In the garbage. It's insane what people throw away. Anyway, uh, yeah, tell your friends, man. Tell everybody about the big Christmas giveaway. Tell everybody about the Shield giveaway. As soon as we hit 225 subs, the Shield's going to somebody. Uh, every time you guys comment on a video from now till December 14th, you get an entry into the Christmas kitty. Meow. Um, I, I love this stuff, man. Let's build a community together, all of us together. We'll build a community. We'll have some fun this summer, you know, whatever. Um, I may have a sponsor for the show. I'm not sure yet. We'll get back to you on that, but we'll have some cool giveaways if we do. So um, other than that, uh, like I said, I'll keep the chat going. You guys keep chatting, man. I'll be there too. So, all right. For, the, for, uh, for everybody here at Captain Crappies, in the crap cave uh thanks for showing up and we'll do that drawing for darth revan uh tomorrow night so make sure you comment on this video tomorrow when it posts and um and then we'll uh we'll find a winner and we'll just give that away and if everybody's really well behaved i'll send out prizes this week so everybody who's won a prize in the last two weeks will get them before christmas all right i i can't promise that the uh, christmas one will go out and get to your house before Christmas, but we're going to try. I mean, December 14th, that's plenty of time. So, all right, guys, thanks for chatting. Good night. Keep chatting. I'm going to end the stream, right? I'm not even going to sing you guys out. We're just going to end it, except for this part right here. All right. Anyway, you guys have a good evening. Sleep well. Be safe. Uh, snow in Cleveland, I think, on Tuesday, so be careful driving. Have a good night. End stream now and now.